Hey, what's up, people? This video is to discuss the antigen phase and how to prolong the antigen phase. Now, what prompted me to do this video is because of my last natural hair updated video. I had said that I am doing things to keep my hair in the growing phase. And a nice amount of you guys had asked me, um, what do you mean that you are doing, what are you doing to keep your hair in the growing phase? And I thought that was a nice question. And, a, and again, some information that I thought to never share with you guys, but it is irrelevant as all of us are trying to grow our hair and trying to get our hair healthy or whatever our goal is. But anyways, let's just jump right into it and don't mind me because I'm going to be looking down on my computer because I took a lot of notes and I have been taking a lot of notes throughout my journey on researching hair and how hair grow and all those type of things. And I will be providing information at the end of this video where you guys can conduct and further your research as well. But what is the antigen phase? That is the first phase of the hair process the first growing stage of our hair process. And according to research, this process can last from anywhere from one to seven years. Okay, now after me personally, as I said in all my videos, that I do a lot of research, okay? And after speaking with some veteran naturals, and I'm not talking about people who've been natural for three years, I'm talking about old school, naturals that's been having locks in their hair for 25 years that's been on this journey before natural became famous in other words okay and 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 i don't mean that liberally or in, indirectly i'm just saying i was talking to some old school naturals okay and speaking with um, a science teacher okay what i learned from speaking to these individuals is that our hair never has to reach the canadian stage which is the second stage of growing growing your hair in the growing hair cycle it never has to reach that point it can stay in the antigen stage from one to seven years according to research okay that canagen stage is basically where you're going into the second stage and the hair has stopped growing because the cell divisions has stopped producing or whatever the case. Please further your research. The antigen stage, again, can be prolonged. Okay. Now, I'm going to backtrack a little bit that the information that's out here on this internet, um, hair can grow six inches in one year. Um, however, that may be true for some people, but that's not always the case for everybody, as I know you guys already know that. Um, everybody growth rate is not the same. So therefore, I am kind of confused by that theory that hair can grow six inches a year, which prompted me to say, look, let me do some more research, okay? That to me would not mean that that's, that's average, that's average hair. That could never be average hair because technically your hair can grow nine inches a year. Your hair can grow 20 inches a year. Okay? Um, that's misleading information that's out on the internet. Your hair can grow 2 inches a year. What got me twisted, and don't get me wrong, I understand that theory that hair can grow 6 inches a year. But the question is... Well, it's not a question. The 
research that I have conducted, it doesn't ever really even talk about how long really your hair can grow. It talks about the growth rate. That is what's genetically set. Now, I know you guys probably seen some from some of my videos. I'm saying, oh, I wonder can hair grow or is it genetically? Your hair can grow. Hair can grow, 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 grow. So I'm glad to know that. I'll conclude that. What is genetically set is the rate that your hair grows. And that's research for you. That is what's genetically set. Now, genetically set, say for example with me, I think my hair grow three inches a year. Okay? That's genetically set for me. It might be genetically set for Jane Joe nine inches a year. Okay? It might be set for Lisa Wong who is a Chinese to be set for 15 inches a year. That six inches a year, I don't know where that came from. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it's true. It's, it, I mean, whatever. But when you get deep down into the research, where the research that I'm doing, I'm reading studies, I'm reading journals, okay, where they testing rats, they don't talk about how long your hair grow a year they they talk about the um they talk about the rate that's what's been real that's what's real it's your growth rate that is all what we need to know it's our growth rate you guys probably already know that but i'm just probably finding it out i'm sorry i'm slow but anyways um so that's that's what needs to be understood the growth rate so moving forward that's why you have some Indians um, some Chinese people who sell their hair to the United States for um, for weaves and things like that okay how do they grow their hair so long how do they how are they in the business to constantly grow their hair so long. Their growth rate probably genetically has been set to grow hair fast. Okay? But here's, here's the thing. They have to keep their hair in that growing phase. And what is the growing phase? It's the antigen phase. So I come to understand, although my hair might grow three inches a year, but how do I keep that in that growing phase for one to seven years, according to research? I don't never want my hair to go into the canogen phase. I want my hair to stay in the antigen phase. Okay. Um, that's how the, the, the Indians are doing it. And that's how the Chinese are doing it. That's how the people in British are doing it. The people who are selling their hair for weave, they're keeping their hair in the antigen stage. We don't, we don't got time to worry about how long our hair is growing six inches a year. That's irrelevant. What we need to worry about is how to keep our hair in the antigen phase. That's key. So that's what prompted me to continue on to do uh, other research and, and, and find out about scalp stimulation. That's important. Okay, and then backtracking a little bit when I was talking to um, the scientists and some other naturals, the scientist said to me, he said, basically, let me tell you, he said, the things that you are doing to your hair, you are just keeping it in the growth stage. For example, let me give you an illustration. He said, um, it's like you got some seeds and you going to plant a tree. Okay. Um, your seeds is your genetics, okay? What do a plant need to, to do or a tree need to do to grow? All it needs is a little water, okay? Just as well as our hair. All our hair need is a little moisture, okay? But we can do some things to tweak it, to keep it growing in the growing phase. By example, we can do scalp stimulation, or we can take some vitamins, 
okay? Just as well as with a plant. You can take the plant and give it a little sunlight, or you can take a plant and you can uh, give it some animal, uh, I mean some plant food, or you can give some plant some vitamins to keep that plant growing. Regardless, hair is going to grow anyway, right? But we want to keep it growing. Just like the plant, we want to keep it growing. We're going to do some things for that plant to keep growing. And we, we need to do some things for our hair to keep growing. And I think people out here already know how to keep their hair in that antigen phase. And um, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. So I think that's the challenge. That's the challenge. I challenge everybody out here. You guys, we need to figure out how to keep our hair in the antigen stage. And I think what's working for me is the, the staff stimulation. That's what I know I have been doing. And um, I found some other research about the MSM vitamins. Hair Affinity really speaks on that. It, it, it said... Um, it said the MSM vitamin helps increase and lengthen the time that your hair is in the growing stage. Those are those hair affinity vitamins. Okay. Now, it's things that we know that's out here to keep our hair in that antigen stage. We just need to find it out. Okay. Our hair never have, has to reach that canadin stage. I mean, don't get me wrong. Hair goes through that cycle, and, and that's how it's supposed to be. But reality, the longest uh, uh, cycle of our hair is the antigen stage. And that's we want to keep that as long as we can possibly, and that's how we can continue to grow our hair. So if you ever have the question or you're wondering, um, my hair is at a standstill like I thought before, or my hair is not growing, um, or it just my hair is breaking off, it's because we're not doing things to keep it in the antigen stage, okay? Uh, and then never get it twisted that our hair is not growing. We have to understand that our hair is genetically set by the our growth rate. So we might have a slower growth rate, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine because... If we get three inches a year, so what? As long as we keeping it in that three inches for that whole seven years. That's key, okay? Um, the other thing, I'm sorry. The other thing that, I know I spoke on two things already. You can, you can do those MSM vitamins, which Hair Affinity speak highly on. Do your own research on MSM vitamins, how it lengthens the antigen stage. You can do scap stimulation, which st stimulate the follicles of your hair and keep those energized and keep them in the antigen phase, awaken it, awaken the, the, the hair follicles that's a dead and not alive. You don't want it to go into the cell phase where it's just not producing anymore. That's what I like to do in the, the scap, scap, I'm sorry, scap stimulation stuff. Um, the third thing that you can do is don't slow down the antigen phase, okay? And common sense will tell you that don't do anything to damage your hair, like with heat. Um, if perm is hard on your hair, don't put any perm in your hair because I, I know that perm is hard on my hair, okay? Um, and you want to use... High quality, or, or in my case, pH balance type of products. I want to do things to not slow down my hair phase. And, and using commercialized type of shampoos and conditioners, that will slow down the antigen phase. Putting heat on your hair in a perm will slow down the antigen phase. So I gave you three things, and um, I hope this is beneficial to everyone. And that's what I had uh, made the comment that I'm doing things to keep my hair in the growing phase. And that was what I said, and that's what I meant by that, is just by keeping my hair in the antigen phase. And, um, and one way that I'm doing that is by doing my scap 
stimulation uh, process. I, I'm not, a, you know, I, I'm not a key person to take vitamins, uh, but I will take vitamins. And, and I'm, I'm so lucky and I'm just um, glad that I came across that other knowledge with hair affinity. That was awesome. Um, and then I don't put heat on my hair um, and I'm, I'm using pH balanced products. And that's the only thing that I can come up with that how I can figure out to keep my hair in the growing phase. And I challenge everybody out here to do the same. No, don't think your hair is not growing. It's probably at a, a standstill, which would be canogen stage or telogen stage. But you you got to get it to continue to grow. And that's um, it. And I hope I hope I touched on everything. If not, I'll probably put a lot of little links and things throughout this video. And um, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts. Thank you for viewing. I'm out.